Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you are very welcome to On My Honor right here on Tribe TV. On this show, things get a little spicy as we put our guests on the hot seat, asking them daring questions they have an oath to answer correctly. On today's episode, we have no other than model, producer, and actor, Mr. Kenneth Nwadike. We'll be right back with Mr. Kenneth after this short break. You don't want to miss this. You're welcome, Kenneth, to On My Honor. I hope you're excited for the show. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, on the show, I'll be asking you somewhat scandalous questions, hoping you huh. tell us the truth and nothing but the truth. Huh. You seem like a fun guy, so I'm thinking you bring the fun to the show. So help me God. Okay, I like that. You're, <laughs> you're already in the spirit, because we have an oath that you use your right hand and take a pledge. I promise to tell the truth. Mm. I promise to tell the truth. And nothing but the truth. Oh my God, I'm nothing but the truth. On my honor. On my honor. All right, there we have it. Kenneth is ready. Let's talk about the most scandalous thing about you. I don't think I've had any scandalous thing so far. I mean, I can, I can tell maybe probably when I was still modeling, when I was in the modeling industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had this, uh, I did this wrong way, Native and Vogue. And I had to wear only pants. <laughs> I wore only pants. The designer actually wore me only pants. So I did the wrong way wearing only pants. Oh. It was not funny after mm. that day. Yeah, oh. I think that's, that's so far. I think that's the only... I'm sure some girls will be things. Googling, let me see Kenneth <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But mm, that's a story for the books, Kenneth. I know. Let's talk about one movie role you would never play. Truthfully, I don't think there will be any. I don't think there will be any. Because as an actor, you can't really just say, I don't want to play any role. The most important thing is, if you believe you can, you will. So I don't think there is any role I will not want to fit into. Do you think mm. you have any selling points? And what is the number one selling point you have? <laughs> Obviously. I mean, undeniably, it's always good to cheer yourself and you know praise what you have. I mean, I know I have a good body. I have a good height, so I'm not a fine boy, but I know I have these two Come things. Come on now. You know, Come so on, I, I think you're, you're part of the league of the fine boys. So <laughs> Thank you. I can say that. All right, what is your love language? Are you a physical person or mm. you like gifts? I think I'm, I'm more of a mind person. I mean, I, I've grown past uh, seeing a woman physical outlooks for me to be moved. I think I'm more of a mind person now, knowing what you can bring to the table, how industrious you are, you know, how your mind works. Because uh, I'm, I'm a very difficult person. So if, if a woman is to chill and be with me in terms of love, I need to know that we have deep understanding. And you can only be understanding when you're minded, if you get what I'm saying. So that's just it. I agree. Now, I don't know if this is inappropriate, but do you believe on sex on the first date? Hell yeah. <laughs> Which guy wouldn't, to be honest? I mean, <laughs> I love it. It's exciting. It, to me, it changes nothing, right? You know, sometimes people feel, oh, especially from the girl part, oh, it shouldn't happen the first day, I'll feel so cheap. But that's not true. The guy probably feels so cheap as well. We are both cheap. You know, the most important thing is if these two people had the connection, the feeling, the attraction, and they want to make it happen. But it happens that day or happens in the next four months, it changes nothing. I agree. The same thing, yeah. Okay, can we lighten the mood a little bit? Okay. Would you like to explain the color red to a blind person? That's difficult. Where do you start? This person is blind. Probably I've not seen color before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it's explainable, you know, because... Like I said, I'm a very minded person. When you're talking of color, red is a beautiful color. And the word beautiful still makes sense to a blind person. If you're telling the person, oh, this red is beautiful, it's mild. It's, you know, when you're saying all those things, the person will probably understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, it's soft like this foam that you're touching. Just the person has to feel it because he can't see it. So you have to make him connect the color with things he can feel. I agree. That's how it works. All right, what's the most challenging thing about being Kenneth? I think I'm, I'm always trying to, you know, I'm, I'm the highest critic of myself because 
I always do that a lot. I mean, even when something is so good, I feel like it's not. So it's challenging for me to every day want to tell myself you have to do better than you did last year, yesterday. It's, just, it's always that way for me. I challenge myself a lot to want to do better. And that's just, I feel that's the only challenging thing about me. I never see the best in whatever I do. Yeah. All right, Kenneth, if you won a million dollar jackpot, what's the first thing you're going to do with that money? Uh, a million dollar? Hmm. A million dollar. Yeah, if, uh, of course, it's just to invest in your business more. You know, if you have something going on for you, you pump money into it to expand it. Basically, I mean, at this stage, you can't be complaining about the basic things. Oh, build a house, buy a house for my baby, buy a car for my mom. I mean, some of us, we've already done that. So it's not, it's a cliche to be said. The most important thing is to push it into, you know, business. Try to do philanthropical work because, I mean, you, you won a million dollar jackpot. So it's like God's gift to you. Mm -hmm. So you have to find a way to give it back to the society. You know, do some philanthropical things. Change lives, basically. Because that's what you'll be remembered for. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, lastly, who to you is the most gorgeous looking Nollywood actress at the time? Mm -hmm. You're trying to find my trouble. <laughs> <laughs> These are questions you try to run away from. I mean, for me, everyone is beautiful in their own way, great. I mean, we have amazing actresses in the industry, no doubt, you know, from the, from the old age to this new era, you know, I can mention names. But at, at, for me, at Genevieve will constantly always stand out for me, you know, not just because I watched her growing up, but, you know, I, I see her lifestyle and, you know, the way she carried it all these years, and I admire that, you know. But she still remains the gorgeous for me. Nice one. Mm. Right choice. Um, Kenneth, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. Please feel free to come by whenever you want. It's I always will. a pleasure to host you on the show. <laughs> I will catch you guys same time, same place. Don't forget to keep on watching Tribe TV on your favorite network, of course, Tribe TV. I'll see you guys next time. If you want to follow us on social media, we are at Tribe TV on Instagram and on Twitter. My name is Asari Duke. Catch me, Asari Duke underscore on Instagram. It's always a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Please keep on watching Tribe.